In this video we'll have a look at the product moment correlation coefficient, otherwise known as the PMCC. For scatter graphs you can work out the strength of linear correlation using your calculator or a formula and that's called the PMCC represented by the letter R. The other thing that you can work out for a scatter graph is the uh, equation for the line of best fit called the regression line. The PMCC has a value between minus 1 and plus 1. The region between minus 0 0.3 and plus 0 0.3 we typically say there is either very weak correlation or there's no correlation. For positive values the correlation is positive. For negative values on this scale the correlation is negative. At each extreme, so when the PMCC is plus one, you have positive linear correlation. Every point here is on our line of best fit. And when PMCC is minus one, we have de negative correlation. Again, every point is on the line of best fit. For this scatter graph here, this PMCC value is wrong. Clearly the correlation is negative, so this value should have been negative. For this graph here, the PMCC value of minus 0 0.7 is suitable. For this graph here, the PMCC value 1.2 is incorrect because R, the PMCC, only takes a value between minus 1 and plus 1 in that range. This is outside the range, so it's wrong. In this graph, the value of R, or the PMCC, being 0 0.9 is incorrect because the PMCC is a measure of linear correlation. Clearly, a non-linear relationship exists here, so a curve would be a better fit for this data rather than a straight line. So that value there is meaningless. That's why it's good to see the graph first before making comments on the PMCC. In this flowchart we see two separate methods for working out the PMCC. Uh, the easier one is the calculator, mode, uh, statistics, that's option two, and then y equals a plus bx, option two, enter your x and y data, and then clear, press the AC key, shift, one, seven for regression analysis, and then it's option three for R, the PMCC. This is very easy. Um, the alternative is using the formula and these three summarized values may be given to you in a question and then you just enter those into this formula and you will work out the same value of R that your calculator is giving you. It's possible that looking at your scatter graph you may find that some points don't fit the general pattern in your data. For example, point P here does not really fit in to the rest of the data values here, so you should isolate that point, but make a reference to it that it's a freak result, an outlier of some sort. When calculating the PMCC, do not include this value here. Starting with a scatter graph, have a look to see if there is linear correlation. And at this point, if you think no, there's no linear correlation, so perhaps a curve would be a better fit for the data. Do not calculate the value of R, the PMCC. If you see that a linear relationship does exist in the data, then identify and remove any outliers or freak results, and then calculate the value of R, either using the formula or your calculator. Once you've worked out your PMCC value, you may want to comment on the value. You can use this scale and the wording used, for example, weak correlation here, moderate, strong, very strong, so that's all positive correlation here on the right hand side. On the left hand side, again, you've got weak, moderate, strong, and very strong negative correlation. 
to work out the product moment correlation coefficient for this data, reset the calculator first. And then we want mode statistics a plus bx, that's option 2. Enter the x values, press equals after each value. Scroll down to go to the top of the table. Scroll across. Now enter the y values. At this point you should go through your data, check the X and Y data pairs, make sure they are correct, press the AC key, shift, statistics, that's option one, you've got stat here, regression analysis, option seven, R, the PMCC value, option three. At this point, the value here is not what we're looking for. You must press equals afterwards. This is the value we're looking for. So the PMCC for this data is 0 0.990. 0 0.990. This value shows a very strong positive linear correlation between X and Y. In this example, we will use the formula to work out the PMCC value. Okay, putting the numbers in. So that's got XY. There's XY, 213. And then we've got the square root in the denominator, and we're multiplying the X and the Y values there, so 360 times 250. And this value should be between minus 1 and plus 1. If it's not, you've probably made a mistake by putting the values in the wrong places. Okay, resetting the calculator. Fractions 2, 1, 1, 3 over the square root of 360 times 250 is 0 0.71. 0 0.71. That's the PMCC value for the summarized data values here. Cause and effect. Uh, we have some data from uh, primary school children. The data recorded was uh, their score in a maths test and the length of a child's left foot. Here's the scatter graph showing uh, linear correlation between the length of left foot and the score in the maths test. And the question is, does a longer foot size cause the math score to increase? Is there a causal link? Does one cause the other to change? The answer is clearly no. Because otherwise you could think, well, if there is a causal link, then if you stretch a child's left foot, their test score would increase. Yeah, that's ridiculous. There is a third variable that you don't see here that links the length of the left foot and the score in the maths test together, and that's the child's age. So these two variables are linked by age. So just because you see linear correlation between two variables, it does not mean that they are directly related together. It could be that a third variable is involved, as in this case.